in this session we will learn about the flask and uh, the flask based tool so basically this is the lab session so we will create some web services and we will deploy into the uh, docker environment and uh, we will use the ec2 instance for the same so let me quickly create the ec2 instance first so i'm just going ahead i have already logged into my aws account and uh, let me launch the ec2 instance select your yeah, first one i am choosing i am going with the default configuration so i am just adding the name of ec2 instance that is the flask demo part one so let me choose the one so that there will not be any conflict so let me choose the new security group uh, yeah, review and launch. I will use the existing details which already I am having. So now our instance is already ready. So I will just go ahead with uh, copying the public IP of this one and let me do the SSH on it. So let me log into the EC2 instance. Yes, I will successfully log into the new instance. Let me install the class. Okay. So this is the Python package. So let me check if I pip is already installed. Yeah, pip is already installed. So I will go ahead to install the flask first. Then install flask restful. Yeah, so both are installed here and now we will go ahead with uh, Python code. So let me create one directory flask demo I am just writing first my with dot py okay let me change my vi So I will use my VM as VIM VM as the VI VIM dot PY. <coughs> so here we are writing our flask class server coding. So I am importing the flask from the flask and uh, yes we will go ahead with our login so let me import the login as well we will configure our logger with the basic configuration sorry it's taking the wrong one okay it's uh, not going to import Logging is a logger, so let me use the config one, basic config. So here we will pass our file name that is for the logging purpose. So let me take as class log. And enable into the debug mod. So logger dot debug yeah, we are ready with the basic configuration of our logger. Now we will instance we will instantiate our Class server. So 
so after instantiating you will just ensure it that it has been instantiated sorry instead of name it should be instead of main it would be name here and then compare with the main so we will use logger here to check that server is ready to start and here we will run our server dot run and uh, yes we are done so the default port it will take a 5000 and we will customize it later so let me check if anything is wrong or what yeah so here it is saying that no keyword argument after the r so there is let me correct it so here that key name has been not passed we need to pass the key name that is the level level is equals to logger.debug ok there is a typo Yes, our server is running debug mode is off and we already enabled our debug mode so in the run we need to say that okay switch on the debug mode on so i will just pass debug is uh, true debug is none default is the none so mm -hmm. debug uh, debug is just to true and let me pass the port as well the port is 8080 so we will run again yeah so debug mode is on and it is running into the 8080 mode so we will just check it if it is running fine or not so before that i need to i need to invoke any method and i need to return something so for that we will edit this file so let create first uh, set the context you need to route the call and at the rate at instance dot route Let's copy and paste. Yeah, now it is coming correctly. So I'm writing a small function hello, hello class and uh, I will just return hello flask for test purpose. Let me run again. Yeah, everything is fine. It is running into that uh, debug mode. So I will just use curl HTTP localhost 8080. And yes, it's running fine. It is returning the hello class. So 
the flask has been properly running into the server oh sorry into the port 8080 and now we will uh, check that if we can access from the outside as well so let me run it again back and then and here we will go so this is our IP address of EC2 instance port number is 8080 so yeah it will not open because security we need to open by configuring the security so let me check it is bind up with yeah this is the flash demo one security here we will open the port 8080 let me edit it head rule system ip 8080 So let me choose the anywhere source. The drone will configure it. Now let me try again if I am able to open the site. So still it is not reachable. So reason is that we need to configure our run method. We need to pass one more parameter and that is the app instance. Sorry, that is the host. So that host is mentioned there on the top. Yeah, host, and then we will go for anywhere concept. We will run again. We will see if we are able to access. Yeah, hello flask is properly configured. So I have just terminated the server. So now we will go ahead with the configuration of class RESTful. So let me comment this one right now because now we don't use this one. So for simple uh, REST service, we will write inside the uh, API folder. So let me make a class vi movie review class. Sorry. So here I uh, will just simple write uh, one web service for uh, get and let me create the class class movie review Let me change it to the dot file file. So class movie review. Here we are running the gate functions. I will go with the cell and uh, here we will return something like hello, uh, hello rating, something like that. So here we need to test the resource so that uh, we can associate, associate uh, this uh, class with our uh, 
class restful so let me use the restful api class the restful and we will import we will import resource from here so that we can use in our flask server and we will pass here the resource one and enable the logger as well add the logger here logger dot debug inside the get method yeah so this class is ready for us to use and we will create one more init init file pi init dot pi so let me import the class test pool So we'll import the API from the class based pool module and uh, we already created app file so we will use it here and the instance name was app instance the instance name must be correct because we are importing from there and uh, the next is our movie movie review file yeah so let me configure my race server and uh, here we are having the app and the app name is uh, app instance app instance let me correct the typo here as well So here we will add the resource. So the server and then add the resource. Yes, so first one I will take the rest resource. And uh, the resource is uh, movie review. Add movie review here. And now we need a URL. So URL is just take as API. Movie, movie review, or movie, movie review, and we have to take the name of movie, so movie name, and that's all. We are done with this file we have added the resource here we will go back to our app dot file and here we no need to do anything just we need to import whatever is there into the api api folder so before run we will import here import uh, api sorry from api we need to import everything 
from API import everything. Import star Let me change it to the from So uh, Now we are having the port number 8080 debug is true and we can access it from outside we have imported the API here and the uh, resource has been added so if we will run Python here so we need to have a proper URL and the URL is mentioned here into the init file just copy paste this URL just copy this URL and we need to run our Python and we will see if there is any error Yeah, so here we have to correct the typos so let me take the proper name from here so this is the proper name i use in the capital cd api vi init so let me correct these two instances of app instance to appearances of app instances so here i is capital but i mention i is in the lower case so let me replace this to appearances Let me go back and let me restart the server. Yeah, server is on and uh, we we'll copy the URL. So this was the URL. Sir, so this is saying that there is no URL found. The reason is that we are having the resource, but in the get method, we have not it, we have not error it. So let's go to our uh, movie file, and uh, here I need to go for resource. So that will take the name of movie view. That the content is the typo. That's fine. So uh, let me check the issue. Yeah, so here is the two forward slash and it remove one. So this API is working fine, but uh, we are passing here the movie review and here is the movie name. So if we will correct it, it will work fine. Let me correct it. Movie review.
I will just drag this over. Okay. So the rating is uh, it's like uh, the service has been called and the gate method has been called. So we can also see the log here. So here, see that here you can find out that uh, server is ready to start. But uh, okay, so when we are calling this method, then it's supposed to call the logger as well. Okay. That's fine, but done. 